in Ayodhya, there is the flag of Raghukul on the palace of King Dashrath. So this is the Surya Vansh, the dynasty coming from Surya Bhagavan himself, in which great kings like Amrish, like Sagar, like Khatwang, like Dilip have come. And presently Dashrath is ruling over Ayodhya. So Dashrath was so powerful that the demons did not dare enter his kingdom. Dashrath was living in prosperity. Dashrath had three wives, Kaushalya, Kekai and Sumitra. But he did not have any children. And he did not have the desire for children as well. The guru of that pool was Vasisht. Vasisht's wife, Arundhati, she asked her husband one day. She said, Patidev, have you ever wondered who will become the ruler of Ayodhya after Dashrath? He doesn't have any children. Vasisht said, I have wondered. So can you not bless him with a child? Vasish said he doesn't desire a child what to do. Arundhati said, supposing I create in him that desire. Vasish said, very nice. So Arundhati went to the Darbar, the Mahal, where the three queens were sitting. Now she is the Guruma, so she was sitting above and the others were sitting around. And she had her grandchild in her lap. When Dashrath returned to the Mehal, he found Guru Ma there. So he put his head down to bow to her. At that time, Arundhati, she pinched her grandchild on the cheek. So the grandchild started crying. When Dashrath lifted his face, he asked, Ma, why is your grandchild crying? He said, he is crying because he is asking me that whose Guru will I be? How can I be Raj Guru? Because Dashrath does not have any children. That was when Dashrath realized that he has a shortage in his kingdom. Otherwise, he was so powerful, he was Dasharathi. His wrath could go in ten directions. So Dashrath went now to his Guru Vasish and he said, Guru Dev, how can I have a child? God has given me everything but not one thing. Vasish said, that is the way of Bhagavan. He never gives everything to one person. He will give you always something to be happy about and something to be sad about. So everybody in their life has got a mixture and they come down. That is the way destiny works. Vasish said, Dashrath, don't you worry. I did not wish to be a Purohit. I did not want to do Karmakan. But when I told Brahmaji, Brahmaji said, look Vasish, you carry on. In this pool, Bhagavan himself will take avatar. So, we will arrange for a Putra Kameshti Yajna and your wish will be fulfilled. Shringi Rishihi Vasishta Bulava Putra Kama Shubha Yajna Karava Vasishti did not do the Yajna himself. He was not familiar with the Vidhi. He called Shringi Rishi. So under Shringi Rishi's guidance, the yagya took place. And at the end of the yagya, the bell rang, Bhagavan manifested. See, the ringing of the bell is the indication of the successful yagya. Now here, the ghanta nad took place and Agni Bhagavan manifested with the prasad and he offered it to Dashrath. He said, distribute this amongst your queens as you wish. 
Dashrath now took half and gave it to Kaushalya. The half that remained, he took half and gave it to Kaikai. And he said, look, Kaikai has got a complaining nature. So the remaining one fourth he gave, divided it and gave it to Kaushalya and Kaikai said, you give it to Sumitra. So when they both offered that portion to Sumitra, Sumitra felt indebted. She said that because I have received it from you, I give you my word that if I have sons, they will engage in the service of your sons. Soon after that, the news came that all the three queens are now carrying. They are all Garbhavati. So the people of Ayodhya became joyous. With our eyes, we will see Rajkumars in our kingdom. Our wish to see the children of Raja Dashrat will be fulfilled. The months started going by. Everybody's eagerness was increasing and increasing. The Mahatmas came to know that Bhagavan's avatar is going to happen. So they started congregating in Ayodhya. The number of saints in Ayodhya increased. They took residence on the banks of the Saryu, anticipating, awaiting the descent of the avatar. Finally, the auspicious month of Chaitra came. This Chaitra was one month if he started increasing. The Devi Devtas also were aware that Bhagavan is going to take avatar. They were also taking their places. Out there, Saryu Nadi started swelling. Saryu is the river that grows by Ayodhya. Somebody asked Saryu, what is the reason you are increasing? If in Bhago Mas there is a flood, it's understandable. How come in Chaitra Mas there is this flood taking place? Saryu said, this is not flood, this is Ahlad, my happiness, which is manifesting in this swelling. Now in the Shukla Paksh, one one tithi started going by until the auspicious Navmi Tithi came. Surya Devta started rising. Surya Devta is delighted because in my dynasty, Bhagavan is going to take avatar. Out here, Brahmaji instructed to the Devi Devtas. He said, look, it should not be announced that Bhagavan has come. Bhagavan comes without announcing in a good manner. So people don't know that he is Bhagavan unless they are qualified. So you all go. He sent the Devdas off. The Surya was going higher and higher and higher. Until the Madhyan Tithi, the Madhyan time was about to arrive. The middle of the day. At that time, a wonderful breeze started blowing. The Brahmins, they do their Sandhya three times. The morning, at dawn, evening at dusk and at midday. So they had half immersed themselves in the river to do the Sandhya. And they had taken their sacred thread around their hand and they had started reciting the Gayatri Mantra as a part of the Sandhya. All of a sudden, the Yajna Kunds, they lighted up. And as the sun came right in the center, Bhai Prakat Kripala Deen Dayala Kaushalya Hitrakari 
हर्षित महतारी मुनि मन हारी अद्भुत रूप विचारी लोचन अभिराम धनु घन श्याम भुज आयुध भुज तारी भूषण वन माला नयन विचार शोभा सिंधु खरारी कौशल्यास भूम बिके बेमती and bhagwan manifested not as a little baby but as the four armed vishnu and he gave darshan to kaushalya so kaushalya saw right eh? this is bhagwan himself kaushalya understood that he is not my child same thing happened in krishna avatar as well see some people say that does bhagwan come out from the stomach but shri krishna is saying in the gita janma karma ch me divyam arjun my janm is divine i am not born like children are born in the world from mother and father What is the need for Bhagavan to hang upside down in the stomach for nine months? There is absolutely no need. So, Mata Puni Boli So Mati Doli Tajhuta Taya Rupa Ki Desh Shulila Ati Priya Shila. यह सुख परम रूपा सुनी वचन सुजाना गोदन ठाना है बालक सुर भूपा यह चरित जो गावही हरि पद पावही देन पर ही भव कूपा सो दैट सिक्स फुट विष्णु जी सेड लुक I only came to show you so that there should be no confusion. It should be clear that I am become your child. It's only a lila, but my birth is divine, and that is when Bhagwan manifested as Bal Ram. Bolye Shri Ram Chandra Bhagwan ki. Now the news. of the birth of ram was conveyed to dashrath dashrath came running and when he looked at ram ji in his bal swarup with his bluish complexion dashrath felt as if he could offer his tan man pran on his little baby He instructed all the residents of Ayodhya, "Let let us have a celebration." Now, when the instruction was conveyed, the news came that Kai Kai has also got a child. So the joy of the people increased further. And in the meantime, the news came that Sumitra has got two children. Now nobody could contain themselves. So all the Avadvasis they started dancing, celebrating. Daily Sadhana is a unique coaching platform envisioned by Swami Mukundanand for people of all backgrounds to make systematic spiritual progress at your own pace and in the comfort of your own home. In Daily Sadhana, Swami Mukundanand will be your personal spiritual coach and will help you learn and practice spirituality every day in a structured and engaging manner. If we could transform ourselves just 1% every day, After a few months, we would have changed ourselves 100%. 
Daily Sadhana offers beautifully designed online courses where the timeless Vedic philosophy is systematically organized into daily lessons. Each daily lesson contains an exclusive video lecture, review slides to revise the key takeaways, special meditation sessions, and quizzes and exercises. Visit mydailysadhana.org to learn more and start your spiritual practice today.